Hey Cancer, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I'm your girl, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, a very special welcome to you. I do hope that you'll hit that subscribe button and join me here more often. I would absolutely love to have you a part of this all Cancerian family. I'm a Cancer and I cater to the Cancers right here on the Cancerian Vibe. So definitely make sure your notification bell is turned on okay so you can be notified each and every time that i upload because it will always be for the lovely sign of cancer no matter where you have cancer in your chart the readings on this channel can resonate for you okay um so you guys before we get started so i'm here for your daily um your daily message so i attempted to do this reading um earlier but my camera i don't anyway um depending on what comes out but i wanted to i wanted to make sure that this message was clear do the work it feels it feels like spirit is telling you cancer to do the work it's time to like um quite quite literally quite plainly do the work okay um you know you may need to find some inner strength some inner courage to take this leap of faith however it resonates for you um you know if you're working on a creative project or you're, you're contemplating a creative project because you haven't started it it's like i'm telling you cancer this whatever this is it's attached to your abundance your prosperity and not even just your financial abundance but like it'll change your quality of life so like get to work and y'all the reading was so good like I'm I'm a little mad it got messed up the reading was really good because I was feeling told to like, do the work cancer so the short summary sweet side of it is do the work okay but we're gonna see what comes out um for you today but look today decide to do the work okay today decide decide to do the work decide to do the work we got happiness that came out um cancer i'm telling you <laughs> times are changing for you because i feel like look you're moving out of this energy of regret where you have past regrets being honest with yourself about um present circumstances and situations accepting things look um but yeah and then your soul path your um your purpose it feels as though you know you're more in tune with that you're being awakened to what it is that you're on this earth to do and that's a part of your happiness i love that dolphins um usually when it's a car with uh happiness they have dolphins dolphins are like my favorite animal so i love that they're synonymous with happy happiness um y'all yeah, so I feel really good with the happiness. So, um, Cancer, hopefully you're feeling good today as well. I know where I am currently is kind of gloomy. It's like half gloomy, half sunny. It's weird, but happiness is the energy surrounding us. Um, be aware that being happy means that you are on the right path. You're on the right path, okay? So, look, and as you go through this <laughs> transformation, we got a tower here at the bottom of the deck. So, y'all, it definitely could have been feeling like, you know, you've been making some significant life changes or you've been experiencing some some significant life things, experiences. Um, you know, there's some changes that had to be made. Like I say, you're coming away from this regret where you know that you can't change the past. The past is the past. It is what it is. You've, you've accepted it and you've moved forward. Um, and now it's your time. But look, y'all, too, on this transformation card. So it says breaking free of procrastination. Do the work, Cancer. Do the work. It's time to break free of procrastination. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I feel so told, but that has definitely been coming up for, like, the collective. So it's, it's definitely... Um, it is definitely a sense of urgency with, you know, getting in tune with your purpose, your soul path, and what it is that you are on this earth to do and, and like getting to it, you know, it's, it's, it's like time out for play. Um, yeah, breaking free of these, breaking free of this, uh, procrastination. There could definitely be some unexpected revelations that come around. Um, and I feel like the revelation is that you're on your right path. Yeah, look at that. The Ace of Wands, y'all. <laughs> um, and I feel like, too, this could be an opportunity that comes in unexpectedly because we got the tower still back here at the bottom of the deck. Um, but look, y'all, these people are doing the work. Like, I just noticed these people, like, the, these people are doing the work. It's like you want this grand thing. There's work involved. 
there's work involved but we got the ace of wands that came out an amazing opportunity here for you i feel like that's attached to your happiness cancer um be bold be courageous and optimistic because you know this is that this is that fiery passionate new kind of energy coming in this new spark now is the time to take action do what you're passionate about do what you're passionate about give me messages for cancer what messages oh yes y'all like i'm telling you cancer the ten of cups coming out the ace of cups i'm telling you like you're in love with life the ace and the ten of cups here and this is like new life because y'all just keep getting the new energy of the aces or we do but the ten of cups cancer so your happiness confirmed uh, excuse me, like you're happy, you're happy ever after. I'm telling you, you can leave past regrets behind. Leave the past behind because your 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 future is so bright and happy. Um, where you're emotionally content, Cancer. Okay. This could definitely be a new emotional experience for you, whether it be a relationship, a new job, something that's just emotionally fulfilling. When you're on your right path, um, I feel like this is and look, there's that dolphin, y'all. There's that dolphin. When you're on your right path, um, that's when you can feel happy. Um, this is a beautiful new emotional experience. And, you know, that tickles our fancies because we all about our emotions, right, Cancer? <laughs> um, this could definitely uh, be some type of awakening to your psychic abilities and spiritual insights. So remember, we said that there was going to be some type of um, revelation. This could definitely, you know, be coming in. This revelation could definitely be coming in um, for you. And I feel like it's a total 180 from the Five of Cups energy. So it's like Cancer, I, I see the light. So if you are still in that energy where you're kind of, um, you still got your head down looking at spoiled milk or spilled milk, you know, not seeing the possibilities, the just wait okay <laughs> um a beautiful new experience is on a, its way to you some of you are getting a new home for sure especially with the ten of cups here i feel like you may be moving getting a new home um you you know you may think of that here but um i see happiness here in this ten of cups I, look i'm loving the energy okay i'm almost not mad that i had to redo the reading <laughs> oh okay so Oh, y'all. And so speaking of the moon, so the moon came out. Speaking of the moon, I want to apologize. You know, I usually do a new moon and a full moon reading for you, but I did not this new moon because I was traveling and I didn't have my cards and not the cards that I wanted. And I was just like, yeah, so, anyway. <laughs> but so, yeah, the moon came out, you guys. Like I said, I feel like this is going to be revealed. Like, that's why it's something it's kind of mysterious. It's giving me the mysterious vibe. Um something is being revealed to you listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs um you guys and that definitely that came up in i did a pick a card reading on my instagram someone is definitely needing to pay attention to some signs because your angels are sending them to you like sending you smoke signals but you could be too discontent with life to bombard it to whatever hung up and miss them miss these revelations that will make everything clear that's what i feel like there's some type there's some type of revelation that's happening for you that's going to make everything that what you've gone through the challenges that you've um you know you've endured it's going to make everything make sense basically so you can let go of your fears it's definitely something like there's an ending there was an ending you know you had to close the door on something here and move towards your ten of cups okay this could have been definitely bittersweet but there was a better way you found a better way um to to make you happy um the end of the situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders. The end of, addic of an addiction. The end of an addiction or a melodramatic reaction. And I feel like the addiction here could be the procrastinating. It's like get getting up and, and moving, okay? Getting up and taking action. The addiction to, you know, negative thoughts and... Mm -mm. Because the energy looks, it, it, it feels like cancer. You you know, you tried to work on your mindset here. <clears throat> Give me. Um, that's very interesting. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Give me messages for cancer. 
What message do you have for cancer? Yeah, that's too many, y'all. I don't know why my cards are like this. Give me messages for cancer. So, y'all, it, it, two cards keep coming out. <laughs> but this release here, and definitely I feel like cancer, that's that's what um has happened with your um your happiness. You've released something. You've ended something and and something new has begun. You've released some people or situations that were holding you back and so you've been spiritually transformed. There is definitely a sense of um something with your house cancer. So you may be trying to make your your house more comfortable, like cozy. You may be moving, thinking about moving here um you know or something that you're doing to like make your your home more peaceful that's what it feels like but let's just get one please for cancer one last message here for cancer for today's spirit so look we got the seven of pentacles that came out seeds well planted your efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future so get ready for your financial rewards too the pay the need for patience a time for resting and planning for the future unnecessary worry so um you know, there's there's nothing to worry about here, Cancer. As you allow things to change, oh y'all just caught eleven eleven. Um, as you allow things to um to grow and change, look, it it definitely feels as though um you know you may have been waiting to see that you were on the right path, and Spirit is trying to give you that message, like keep going, you are, keep keep moving, um. Let's see what this. Tell me, uh, clarify the moon here. Clarify the moon for Cancer. See, I feel like there is some type of um, there is some type of information that's going to be revealed here with the Page of Swords. Um, clarifying the moon, y'all. It and it could it could be something that's so shocking as like a a love message that comes in with the knight of cups that keeps showing up, y'all, and the page of swords. It definitely could be someone that you know maybe had their eye on you, but you know for some it doesn't necessarily have to be a love thing, but it could it something's being revealed that could be a little um that could be a little challenging, but it, like I said, it's going to make everything clear for you. It's like going to connect the dots, why you've endured what you've endured, what you've gone, th why you've gone through what you've gone through. Um, to cancer, if, if you are like moving, like purchasing a home, renting a home, anything like that with a home and there's documents involved, make sure that you're reviewing all the documents carefully. Like make sure you got all the information that you need. Um, Yeah. Make sure you got everything that you need. Let's just say that. Let's see. Clarify the, um, tell me more about the moon. Let's see. Tell me more about the moon here. See, yeah, with the page of, the page of wands coming out. And so this is that opportunity that's grown here. News of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar. And I feel like, you know, that's what's needing to be revealed too, um, your creativeness, your creative side, um, doing things that fuel your passions and finishing what you start, finishing what you start. So, you know, like it grows, it grows cancer. Um, so in, in two pages, two pages coming out with the moon. So it definitely, it definitely feels like there's some type of message, some type of message that's going to come in. This message I feel like can make you very happy with the energy, uh, being happy it, but okay so i say this um so the message could come in and in the end result be happy like you know once you realize how everything plays out but it could be tough um and not necessarily like bad but it could be you know it could be interesting to um to take at first or you know, you may not even believe it at first because, you know, with the tower energy that kept showing up, like this could definitely be shocking to you. Um, but let's see. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Cancer. 
so we got the um the wise counselor that came out see and i feel like cancer you're moving um that's what you've been spiritually awakened and you're you're moving um closer towards like your soul tribe that's what it feels like your spiritually minded community um you, you know you feel like you belong somewhere and that you know that breeds like you feel a part of a family of some sort and that breeds happiness for you as well um as you kind of compare and contrast certain things um certain methods certain ideas certain um information that you've gotten <laughs> look we got the awakening card here um as well right next to the chariot so yes your energy cancer i feel like you are awakening here and uh look embracing your own uniqueness let's see clarify the ace of wands though Clarify, ooh, clarify the Ace of Wands for Cancer. Okay, y'all. So look, okay, look, the nine of um uh, the nine of cups came out too. I I definitely feel like look, this is what you've been wishing for. This is wish fulfillment with this new opportunity. Um, you know, and I feel like look, these are your plans. That's why this is wish fulfillment. It definitely could have been feeling like a long time coming. I feel like this is what the news is in regards to. Um like a new opportunity or something that you've been like planning and waiting for it's like now you're seeing the results of it um taking the next steps partnerships cancer partnerships with this new opportunity so i don't find it coincidence that two cards you know try to clarify this new opportunity so it definitely feels like there's partnership there's another person involved another energy involved um someone that shares the same dream as you but it's time to like expand on your plans and move forward. This is not the time to to stay stuck and you know scared on the sideline. This is time to do the work and and, and move forward. Let's see. Clarify the seven of pentacles. Why not? You know, since we're here. My bad, y'all. <laughs> Clarify the seven of pentacles. Yeah, look, balance. Things are coming back in the balance. It's <laughs> spirit was not gonna let us get away from balance. Okay. Look, things are being restored. The blending, um, the blending that you're needing to do with others with release here. So release release those situations and people, accept those, accept the past and release it, okay, Cancer, and, and move towards your new beginning. Because I, I definitely feel like there's going to be a lot to celebrate um, going forward. I definitely feel like this is a, going to be a, a really good season for cancer. Um, but yeah, balance. Having patience, exercising patience, and, 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 and balance being restored. So it looks really, really good, cancer. Like happiness, happiness. You are on the right path, okay? You are on the right path. Let's pull final messages. I'm going to use this deck again, guys. Final messages for Cancers. Go for it, okay? Look, incoming. Yes, y'all. There's some type of message incoming. News, a message. It's a game changer, okay? A game changer. Surprise invitation. Insights. Insights. Gifts. Making connections. So, yeah, look, it's coming, incoming. Definitely there is some type of message, okay? Um, this message could be about an opportunity that spirit wants you to just go for. Step outside of your comfort zone, okay? Um, make plans. Now is the time because, you know, a favorable outcome is, is you know, in alignment for you. Final messages for cancer. Yeah, y'all. Some type of message coming in, honey. Look, and highest expression. So this, I definitely feel like it's tied to your soul purpose as well, Cancer. If you need it to know, you are on the right path. Um, fulfilling your life purpose, soul, a soul contract, destiny, co-creating with the universe, um, bliss, knowing your worth. So yeah, look, loving all of you and knowing your worth, um, cancer, like that brings the happiness, that brings the bliss, that brings the, um, when you're living out your purpose, your soul purpose, loving and accepting you, the dark parts of you, the light, everything, you know, <laughs> um, final messages for cancer, what we have, magic of pretending came out, so visualize the ideal situation, cancer, be very detailed, play the part, 
see it as manifested, speak into existence and be certain. If you are trying to manifest something here, Cancer, um, visualize it. And I feel like that came out for you yesterday, visual visualization. So Spirit is saying, you know, keep keep your vision. Keep your vision. Um, understand where you are, like understand that you're on your right path and be okay with where you are. You're right where you're supposed to be. Stop. <sighs> Cut yourself some slack. Like you're not supposed to be 10 yards ahead um you know cut yourself some slack you're right where you're supposed to be fall in love with your journey fall in love with your path it's no one else's okay um let me pull one one more one more for cancer one final message for cancer <laughs> yes cancer look you are a manifesting queen or king okay so Look, we're gonna have to put that on the um on a t-shirt next. I am a manifesting queen, okay? Um, because look, your beliefs come true, and I definitely feel like it's in regards to money, y'all. Like money. Somebody's trying to manifest some money, and I'm not mad. Um, your beliefs create your reality, recognize and change emotions. So, you know, your emotions can get you out of whack. You're going to have to reprogram your subconscious mind, and y'all, that's why I'm so um intentional about boss lady be so school because i know i can sit here and i spew this off like all right you got to do this you got to do this you got to do this but that's not practical you know um i know a lot of people like want to know how like how how like you know because i'll do that like okay i know you're saying to, but how does that practically look in the real world like how do i do that in the real world so if you're interested in that you guys any you know learning things like that um like I said, boss lady be so school. Hopefully, um, top of the year, everything will be set and ready for you guys. But if you're interested um, and you want to stay up to date with all the rollout, rollouts and information in regards to that and any other course and all that good stuff, go to my website, you guys, www www.bossladybtarot.com bossladybtarot.com If I can remember, I will drop it in the eye here for you too. Um here wherever it be i think it'd be on this side um but i'll drop it in the eye for you so that you can easily click over you know scroll down to like the midway point of my page and and um type in your email address for me so i can keep you updated boo so that you know i can teach you how to re re um reprogram your sub your subconscious mind okay because you create your reality and like i said cancer you are a manifesting queen or a manifesting king okay um and so you live you make up your life by design by what you speak what you think what you see <coughs> um but yeah look there's so much potential there's so much potential in the air for you right now cancer um it's like really really exciting like really really exciting i'm really really excited to move forward to the new year um i'm gonna be doing uh 2022 for cancer real real soon so make sure if you're interested in that make sure your notification bell is turned on so you know when i drop it and of course i'll be back soon y'all with the um with the business um reading that i said i was gonna do y'all bear with me okay bear with me bear with me okay <laughs> just bear with your girl um but thank y'all i'm gonna leave it here i really do hope that the reading resonates and you find it helpful remember do the work cancer do the work i'm gonna come back tomorrow and ask you what you did do the work and i'm gonna do the work so we can do the work okay we gonna do the work um but yeah i love y'all and <laughs> i hope it resonates and you found it helpful um in the meantime in between time until next time you guys i love you